1944, in the summer, I studied with Francis Chapin at Oxbow, which was a, uh, an adult summer program in painting and printmaking and sculpture in Saugatuck, Michigan. Um, Francis Chapin was a extremely uh, gentle and um, very patient person. And he introduced um, several of us who were all 17 years old at the time, <clears throat> who were all scholarship students there, to the, uh, to the art of lithography. Meaning that we were given a stone and we were told to grind the stone, learn how to grind it, uh, we, to draw on it, and then how to process it and how to print it. And we had terrific facilities there because they were in an old shed over the lagoon, which meant there was the right kind of humidity, and everyone succeeded. So that it was a very uh, rewarding and, and well-spent time. <clears throat> then when I went to Iowa and got into Lazansky's class, he had a routine. The new student was sent out to find some subject, and usually we went to the Natural History Museum at the university, and drew one of the animals. And then we would take a copper plate, and we had to create a print totally by in, with engraving, meaning that we were, it was the most disciplinary thing you could imagine as a new student, because to take a a um, burin and engrave a copper plate is not an easy thing. And so I chose an anteater because I could do all kinds of <laughs> direct, very uh, decisive, you know, and it didn't take a lot of very curvilinear work, which was a lot harder as far as I was concerned with the burin. That was the first one. Then we were asked next to do a self-portrait whereby you would have um, uh, the, the engraving and then the addition of aquatint. And I have examples of all of those that I did. Uh, and then we would start, then you were sort of, that was the way he introduced you to the intaglio process. Then the next was to use acid and do hard ground, soft ground, relief, sugar, all the rest would come in time. I think that Traditional technique is important. It's like learning to draw. You start at the bottom and you learn to see and you learn ways of expressing yourself. And you have to kind of try out different printmaking techniques to find the one that suits you. You may not like all of them. You may be better at woodcut than you are at lithography or, or, or etching or whatever. So I think it's a good idea to take a printmaking course and uh, find out whether it's good for you or not. It's really very personal. <laughs>